We begin tonight as a controversial practice by the Border Patrol now faces a new challenge. On Monday, Spokane City Council passed this measure to stop border agents from doing citizenship checks on Greyhound buses. Last night, we heard from the councilman leading the charge. Take a listen. But we wanted to make sure that no one could say we were just letting them by being silent. We wanted to be affirmative and say, no, you have to follow the Constitution. Okay, so that change mostly applies to the downtown intermodal center, which is where Greyhound buses come and go. Tonight, though, the Border Patrol tells Krem 2 it's not going to stop anything. Casey Decker is here now with this latest development. Casey? Yeah, well, Whitney, this comes especially as immigration-related rhetoric has heated up going into the midterms. On the one hand, arguments that these searches violate the Fourth Amendment and have a tendency towards racial profiling. And on the other, claims that the checks are both necessary and protected by federal law. There's been a lot of inflammatory remarks thrown around, and frankly, it's appalling. You know, the Border Patrol, we pride ourselves on integrity and professionalism. Tonight, Border Patrol defending that controversial bus checking practice. We first showed you what these checks look like back in February. Border agents getting on Greyhound buses at the Intermodal Center and asking riders about their citizenship. All righty, everybody gets asked the same two questions, or easy questions. Of what country are you a citizen? And where are you going? Thanks so much. On Monday, the Spokane Council declared the bus station off limits to immigration officers, but the Border Patrol says that new city ordinance doesn't matter. So our operations are status quo right now. Uh, we have the authority to be at the bus station. Agent Zach Crossan argues that federal law lets officers board vehicles within 100 miles of the border and that the city's law doesn't change that. Since the history of the Border Patrol, these things all change. We enforce the laws that are on the books to be enforced. And that's how it's always going to be. So the checks will go on, and frequently, too. Crossan tells me they try to do checks every day. But he also says the criticisms of the practice are overblown. You, know, you get people coming out here claiming that we're shaking people down for their papers, calling us Gustavo and everything else. It's nothing further from the truth. Out here racially profiling, nothing further from the truth. Everything that happens in that bus is on the up and up. Everybody gets the same line of questions. We're not concerned with race, we're concerned with nationality. Despite the legal clashing, Crossan also says Border Patrol wants to work with the city. You know, we're all in this together and we want to keep that. You know, we don't want to divide. We want this partnership to maintain and to grow and to be strengthened. By the way, if you're wondering just how often these checks turn into actual arrests, Border Patrol told me that since this February, there have been 17 apprehensions. But again, Councilman Beggs told me local police will not try to physically stop the Border Patrol. But he says if someone gets arrested with this new ordinance in place, they could potentially use it to fight back in court with the argument they didn't have the city's permission to be there in the first place. Whitney? All right, Casey, thank you so much.